Welcome in, welcome in. If this is your first time, it's great to see you here on your first shot. And welcome back all of you returners. I'm going to talk a little bit of elephant money news and uh, read some articles and get into the personal story of one of the folks here in the herd community. I'm looking forward to doing that more. It's it's a uh, series. It's a, it's a part of what I want to do. Um, kind of taking a role of a journalist here, the journalist of a journey. It's a journalist of my journey into elephant money and into those of the community because with the things that the community is doing, uh, Twitter spaces, X spaces every Wednesday morning, uh, Thomas Nye doing his interviews, um, people on the chat, we're hearing some wonderful personal stories of what this ecosystem is doing for people's lives. I saw two people chatting. One of them said, I've been working for 43 years and I need a much better retirement. This is a chance for me. And then somebody replied, he said, I'm in the same boat. This ecosystem is something that anyone, no matter what your background, no matter what your finances, it gives you a shot. So I am going to, to jump right in. Let's start with looking at the chart and let's move on with it. Okay. Welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, we're about to begin. You may be asking now, elephant money, the future is now. Okay, here we are. That home page, I'd like to start right here. Good, clean, simple website. You can just jump right in. You can see your elephant holdings, you see your futures account, your NFTs, offer staking. Bank Teller puts it where the NFTs are like real estate. I love how he makes analogies because I love analogies myself. And I'm going to get into that in this video. Um, the NFTs are like real estate long term hold. And uh, that's an incredible thing. We're going to talk about NFTs in a video with James Pelton and my buddy SK Crypto K. Um, catch that video because that's going to be an in depth study into the NFTs. It's going to be great. So, what I'm going to do here is just tour us down to looking at the numbers 387 million assets under management, market cap 309 million, 52 million in the treasury. These are all dollars. Okay, we can look at this. Um, there it is, I found it. Okay, a Bitcoin adjusted price. So the 21 million supply adjusted price, which is the supply of Bitcoin. This is like buying a $14.73 Bitcoin right now. So when we look at the chart, if you are brand new to this, but you are not brand new to trading, you will look at this chart and think what anyone would think. This is going up. And that's exactly what you hope to see. Look at these trend. Look at this. I mean, you just trend line trending upward, upward. Uh, and but yet, any rational person is going to look at this and say, "I don't know when the top is hit," because when you buy into any other kind of a stock or. Uh, you know, foreign exchange, something like that. You buy into a chart that looks like this. It typically will go back down right after you buy. So what would be someone's reasoning for buying into Elephant right now? Well, let's look at an article by Patrick Cryptozoa. I'm going to highlight this definitely look up and and I 
say, hey, subscribe to this. And oh, let me give you a little disclaimer. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I am doing this to journal my journey. I'm doing this for your entertainment and educational purposes. Definitely do your own research with, with this protocol. You have plenty of opportunities to do a lot of research. We've got article writers, YouTubers, people on um, Twitter. There's the elephant chat. There's a lot of ways you can keep doing your own research. Okay, so look at this. Parabolandia, the mechanics of going vertical. So we just looked at a chart that looks really healthy. But what is to say that this chart isn't going to, you know, correct, shift down, you know, the hype is going to end, somebody's going to dump? Why are there so many people confident in this? Well, let's look at this. Let's look at this. The moment when Bertha, the treasury, crosses 150%, when compared to the LPs, is the previous time where the price of elephant turned its nose up and flew vertical. At the first moment marked in the chart where the treasury 189.8 trillion and the LPs were at 120.6 trillion, the ratio stood at 157%. The next day, on March 26th, 2022, the price went up 13.68%. The following day was up 20.3%. From March 28th to March 29th, the price went up from 36.2 cents per million to 47.9 cents per million, or 32% in a single day. And at the same time of the previous run, BNB was not helping out. The BNB price chart, the BNB was. Uh, here it is Thursday, March 24, uh, 2022. So here's BNB. Okay, so currently the ratio of Bertha versus LPs is at 149%. The sizes of the treasuries and LPs this time are a tad different than the first parabola, meaning we will see slightly different price actions. A 200% ratio might match the previous vertical rise better. What Elephant has now is more wealth generating smart contracts such as EM Futures, Unlimited NFTs, Lossless Farms, and Trumpet. The allocation of funds into these new use cases will also differentiate this parabola from the last one, which looks this time like a more gradual rise versus the spiky first parabola. It's all in the, the ratio. Despite the mechanic differences this go around, the ratio between Bertha and the LPs will remain something to keep an eye on. We now have regular infusions of fresh outside cash flow from futures deposits of a minimum of 200 BUSD, as well as unlimited NFTs, sending 100% of their BNB directly into the Bertha treasury. With these positive cash flow, positive events, if the ratio threshold rises above 175 to 200%, I believe that the price action will follow a similar course to the previous parab uh, parabolic run. Perhaps not as steep, but I'll take 2% rises all day, every day. Now I want to read a story from one of our well-loved members of the herd. He's a YouTuber. Uh, Zach Mincer, he goes by DeFi Springs. I've asked people, I put it out there, I said, hey, here are a few questions. Would you mind answering these questions? Because I would like to put these stories out there. I think the stories are really powerful ways that we can share this ecosystem with friends and family and other people. When we're listening on these live spaces, when people are being interviewed, you're hearing, you're hearing about, you know, Kelly Snook telling her story, or you're hearing, hearing AS Yield Fi, or uh, Jadominus, and, and their lives, and how, how much we can relate. That's a big part of who we are, how we're wired as humans. 
We love to relate to each other. We love to not feel so alone in our failures or our concerns about whether we'll be able to dig out of the hole that we're finding ourselves in. When other people are finding hope, it helps us to know that what we're looking at or what we're believing for, for the future, is uh, realistic, it's, it, it makes sense. So here's DeFi Springs answering these questions. How did you find DeFi? I discovered the world of DeFi while at McDonald's. In the past, I would purchase Bitcoin through local Bitcoins. And my Bitcoin provider, Colin, would arrange meetings at the nearby McDonald's. It's quite surprising how the real sweet treat wasn't the soft serve ice cream. Question number two. Why did you find DeFi to be compelling and something to keep doing even with the challenges therein? Answer. The DeFi dream of building passive income captivated me. My curiosity drove me to experimentation. Through triumphs and setbacks, I continued to gather insights, experimenting further and achieving substantial success. Transforming a small sum into a substantial one further ignited my thirst for knowledge. Question number three. How did you find elephant money? Answer, the one and only Crypto Slow. Yes, sir. Crypto Slow is one of the original YouTubers, along with SK Crypto K, who started talking about elephant money when it first came out two years ago. Shout to you, Slow. You're a good guy. You're a very good man. Number four, how is elephant money different from the rest of DeFi for you? Answer, let's talk about sustainability. The tokenomics of elephant money have unequivocally demonstrated their efficacy by positioning elephant as the top performing digital asset of 2022, with a trajectory indicating a repeat triumph in 2023. Even in the face of liquidity erosion from the broader cryptocurrency market, the elephant money protocol exhibited a remarkable resilience not only retaining its value, but also expanding during the challenging phases within the cryptocurrency market. And there you have it today. That was DeFi Springs. Thank you so much, my friend. I am so encouraged by not only how well things are going in this protocol, but by the friendships that are being made actually every day through the Telegram chats, through the work that all of us are doing. We're volunteers. We're not being paid to promote this. We just find this to be so compelling and so wonderful in our lives that we're going out of our way to make some content for you whether it's medium articles or posts on Twitter or interviewing people or YouTube videos or just telling friends and family, this is the best form of advertising. Word of mouth, we're just keeping it going. The train has left the station and it's bound for great things. So it's been great sharing this with you this time. And with that, I tell you, go ahead, plant seeds, enlarge that territory, do great things for other people, buy them a little bit of elephant money. <laughs> That'd be really cool. God bless you.